hello everyone welcome to solve this nice math algebra problem so we have m times of m times of m plus m equals to 222 and here in this problem we need to solve this for all the values of m so first we write this into the uh, simplified form so you see that this m is multiplied by three times so we write it as a m cubed okay m is multiplied by three times when you add the basis of these three terms you get it m cubed and this is plus m and now we move this uh, 222 in the left hand side so it will be written as minus 222 so this whole equals to zero so further we need to focus uh, in 222 now we need to find the prime factors of 222 so we find the prime factors of 222 in this in this way so here first we need to divide it by 2 and you get 2 1s are 2 2 1s are 2 and 2 1s are 2 and now we divide it by 3 so you have 3 3 is a 9 we carry 2 and 3 7s are 21 and after that uh, we divide it by 37 so you get 37 ones are 37 it means that we uh, write this 222 as 37 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 okay so if you um, uh, take more simplification here then you write it as 37 multiplied by 3 2 is a 6 and here we break this 37 and we write it as 36 plus 1 we know that 36 plus 1 equals to 37 okay after this step we need to multiply the 6 on both of these terms but here first we write this 36 as 6 square we know that 6 square equals to 36 and plus 1 is multiplied by 6 now we ready to multiply the 6 on both of these terms and it will be written as when you multiply the 6 on here it will become 6 cube and plus 6 times of 1 becomes 6. So it means that we have we write 222 equals to 6 cubed plus 6. So now we replace this 222 with 6 cubed plus 6. Okay. So now our above equation will be written as in this form m cube plus m minus 222 we replace it as 6 cube plus 6 and this whole equals to 0 so after this step we need to multiply this negative sign on both of these terms it will be written as m cube plus m minus 6 cube minus 6 equals to 0 okay so uh, before move forward we need to make the pair of cubic term and the other term so we have two cubic terms first is m cubed minus second is six cube and the remaining terms are m minus six equals to zero so we have uh, these two factors in which we need to uh, simplify the term so here uh, in order to move further we need uh, a nice cubic formula so uh, i can just write it here and uh, i hope so you already know about this formula so if we have a cube minus b cube it is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square okay this is the our cubic formula and now after that you focus on here uh, so you see that uh, our a is m and our b is 6 so i can just write it here we have a equals to m and b equals to 6 so you just put these values of a and b in the right hand side of this equation so you get the output of this term okay so now we write uh, the first factor as you just replace a and b these values in the right hand side of this formula so you write it as first you have a minus b we have the value of a is m minus b is 6 into m a square 
a is m square plus a is m and b is 6 plus b square b is 6 square after that we have this is plus m minus 6 and this whole equals to 0 okay we just substitute the values of a and b in the formula and uh, after that uh, you see here we have m minus 6 be the common factor which is lies on both of these terms so we take it common m minus 6 and the remaining terms are m square plus 6m and plus 6 uh, sorry this 6 square equals to 36 and when you take common m minus 6 you get here plus 1 and this whole equals to 0 so further we need more simplifications and we write it as m minus 6 into m square plus 6m this is 36 plus 1 becomes 37 and this whole equals to 0. Now after that here we need to uh, divide this equation into the two cases so that our first case is we take m minus 6 equals to 0 and the second case is we take m square plus 6m plus 37 equals to 0 okay so after this step here uh, we need uh, to focus on case number one and in first case you easily get the value of m is equals to 6 so this is the our first real root of the given equation so now in order to find the other roots we need to solve this quadratic equation so that here first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to 6 and c equals to 37 okay so further we need here uh, the nice uh, uh, quadratic formula so you know that quadratic formula is stated as m equals to minus b plus minus b square minus 4 times of ac square root and it is divided by 2 times of a okay so here we need to substitute the values of uh, a b and c so we write it as the value of b is minus 6 plus minus square root of b square b is 6 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and uh, c is 37 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 so further we need more simplifications so we have this is minus 6 plus minus square root of 6 square is 36 minus 4 times of 37 equals to 148 and it is divided by 2 so after that here uh, when you subtract uh, 36 minus 148 it is equals to minus 6 plus minus square root of minus 112 and it is divided by 2. So now here we need to focus in the uh, radical term so we have m equals to minus 6 plus minus here we need to break this term and we write this 112 as 16 times of 7 and we write uh, this as minus 1 square root and it is divided by 2 so uh, after this uh, we write it as m is equals to minus 6 plus minus we know that uh, square root of 16 becomes 4 into square root of 7 and minus 1 square root equals to yota and we break this fraction and it will be written as in this form so you can set this term 2 3 is a 6 and 2 2 is a 4 so finally we have the other two complex roots of the given equation r minus 3 plus minus 2 times of uh, square root of 7 iota so these are the two complex roots of the given equation and we have uh, the one real root is uh, m equals to 6 so this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos